This mom just got caught pulling the most insane stunt I've ever seen. Basically, this poor woman had her husband pass away at age 39 due to mysterious reasons. Now, after this, she basically used his passing to write a very successful book on how to deal with grief. Now, the book itself is for children who have to deal with their mom or dad passing away, and it's supposed to be like this wholesome and helpful book. Well, it turns out one year later after the husband passed away, the authorities have now found out that it was actually her. She was the one who murdered her husband. Turns out she actually poisoned him, which makes the book very ironic. A stunning turn of events for an author who wrote a children's book about the loss of her husband. The comments on Amazon praised her for helping other families handle grief. Well, now she is under arrest, charged with murdering the husband she paid tribute to in that book. Here's Amber Cagliano. This mother of three was celebrated for a children's book she wrote about grief after her husband died. He was 39. It completely took us all by shock. But now a bombshell new chapter. She's accused of murdering him. Okay, just to clarify, this is not just accused. This is basically confirmed. In fact, she's actually being charged with murder. Turns out they actually found her purchasing fentanyl pills and mixing it into his food. She was recorded purchasing these pills just a few months before his death. Now, what's even more disturbing is she actually tried to do this twice. Basically, the first time she tried to poison him on Valentine's Day on, uh, on a dinner date or something. Basically, she put the pills in his food and after that he had a series of problems after which the husband literally told his friends and family that I think my wife is poisoning me. Now for some reason nobody took this seriously at all and they basically just ignored him. After that she bought more pills later on and finished the job. Now why did nobody notice until a whole year later? Well I have no idea. Basically the police was just being completely incompetent doing garbage investigation. If you just check the body you'll realize that his body is filled with fentanyl. In fact it was five times over the lethal amount out, meaning she really wanted him gone. Kuri Richens told authorities she found her 39 year old husband Eric cold to the touch on the floor in their bedroom. Okay, now it gets just super ironic. After this, she made a Facebook tribute video where she said, Life is so hard without you here. I'm sure it is, considering you have to deal with the prison charge yourself. Now, if you're wondering why the wife actually wanted to kill him, uh, other than the fact that she's a psychotic mother flippa, apparently this all started when she changed her life insurance policy to include only her, meaning she she was just planning on killing him, obviously. After that, the husband found out that she changed the policy to only her, and he was like, okay, she's clearly cuckoo. So he changed his life insurance policy and his will to only include his sister, basically cutting her out of all the proceeds she will get after she kills him. Later on, we'll actually find out that this is a very common thing that happens when one spouse murders their partner. They change the life insurance policy first. Then she published this book teaching kids how to deal with grief. She titled it, Are You With Me? It features an image of her smiling husband in the clouds with angel wings and a halo. It's dedicated to my amazing husband and a wonderful father. Dad is still here, it's just in a different way. 33-year-old Richens was interviewed about her book by KTVX in Salt Lake City. My kids and I kind of wrote this book on the different emotions and grieving processes that we've experienced. Her book gets five-star reviews on Amazon, very well written and from the heart. Thank you, Corey, for writing a book that helps young minds understand that spirits of our loved ones are around us always. Okay, so these have got to be like paid reviews or something, or maybe everybody's just a sheep and believes exactly what the news tells them. Because I went there now and everyone's basically like, oh, this is just a messed up dark book. Now they're saying that, oh, this book doesn't help children at all. And in fact, it's a it's very devious written from the perspective or mind of a murderer. They're very interesting. It doesn't look like anyone was reading the book because before it was grieving woman so you know five star reviews all around and now that she's a murderer oh this book is just horrible what baffles me is how it took one year to uncover this when there's clear records of her buying these drugs finding the the dose in his body and the guy literally telling his family that hey she's gonna poison me and kill me like that's like literally everything is laid out to track you to the murderer but in a stunning development Kuri Richens was just arrested in her husband's death authorities say they found five times the lethal dose of fentanyl in his body. She allegedly asked an acquaintance for pills so strong she called it the Michael Jackson stuff. Court documents say three weeks before he died, Eric Richens had gotten very ill after a Valentine's Day dinner with his wife. 
Eric told a friend that he thought his wife was trying to poison him, the documents say. He was 39. It completely took us all by shock. Yeah, what a shock. He actually died after you made him ingest five times the lethal amount of fentanyl. Oh my God, guys, he died after I shot him 69 times in his heart. Oh my God. Bush ate the entire box of wacko smacko pills. Clearly she just wanted money or a successful career. And instead of getting a job, she killed her husband and made a successful book career out of it. And she was about to get away with it as well. In fact, she actually did get away with it for a whole year. This will actually go down as one of the most insane stories because she was literally on the news and everybody was just praising her like, oh my God, you, you took this oh, grieving death and you turned it into such a positive experience, helping other children, you know, deal with grief with your wonderful book, you know, all the news media giving her all this attention. And one year later, we find out she's the murderer. Now, remember when I mentioned how the husband actually knew that he was going to die and he told his family that, hey, she's literally going to poison me. Well, let's take a look at what happened there. Yeah, Robin, good morning. So Corey Richens appeared to be a grieving widow, but authorities say she was hiding a dark secret. And according to court documents, her husband warned his family prior to his death that if anything were to happen to him, she was to blame. Bro, at that point, I would just leave as quickly as possible. Doesn't matter if she's my wife. If you suspect that she actually tried to poison you, why would you ever take a single more food from her ever? I mean, I get it, it's his wife and you know, he loves her and he trusts her, but clearly in some cases you gotta override that, you know? You have like a home cooked meal and you're suddenly like vomiting and you have to take a EpiPen or something. Like, obviously there's something wrong there. All I can say at this point is you better pick them well or are you going to end up with some psycho mother flipper? She had given him a Moscow Mule cocktail earlier to celebrate a business deal before falling asleep in one of their children's beds. A medical examiner later finding Eric had five times the lethal dosage of fentanyl in his system. According to a search warrant, Eric had told a friend just weeks earlier he suspected his wife was trying to poison him when he fell ill after a Valentine's Day date. The warrant claiming Eric broke into hives and couldn't breathe, eventually having to use his son's EpiPen and Benadryl before passing out for several hours. Don't worry, honey, we just ordered some bad food. It definitely wasn't me just trying to poison you. That would be hilarious, right? Imagine your own wife tries to poison you. <laughs> Lol. Corey, on two separate occasions, bought $900 worth of pills from a dealer. The first time looking for something dangerously potent, even asking for the Michael Jackson stuff, referring to the King of Pop's overdose death from a different powerful painkiller. Bro, she ordered the Michael Jackson stuff? She wanted a Michael Jackson? M? Holy, that's a red flag, bro. Average girl, red flag. Uh, he's a Scorpio. Average guy, red flag. She tried to Michael Jackson me. <laughs> Rest in peace, bro. You, you did not deserve this. Corey had changed Eric's life insurance policy, making her the sole beneficiary. But when the insurance company notified her husband of the change, he removed his wife from the policy and his will and was looking to get a divorce. Yo, she's been wanting to kill you for a while, bro. 2022? She's been planning and scheming, changing the policy. She even wrote a book about it, bro. Click this video or your wife puts a little magic pixie dust in your pasta.